Hi everyone, I am Rihanna here, SNIT Adur. We are studying the subject Ground Improvement Techniques for 6th Semester Civil Engineering. And in this subject, now we are on the revision part. So on the revision part, here I am planning to discuss the module 1, Ground Modifications or the Introduction to Ground Improvement Techniques. So today we are going to revise the first part, the introductory part of first module, Ground Improvement Techniques. Ground Modifications and Ground Improvement. What is the difference between a ground modification and a ground improvement? We can see ground modification ground modification refers to a multitude of techniques that improve the engineering properties of the ground that is being treated that is it includes a number of ground improvement techniques for improving the engineering properties of the ground the primary properties which may improve due to these modifications may be shear strength, stiffness and permeability of the soil. So ground modification refers to a number of techniques which are used to improve the engineering properties such as shear strength, stiffness and permeability of soil. Ground improvement. Ground improvement refers to a, a simple technique that improves the engineering properties of the soil Usually, the properties that are modified are shear strength, stiffness and permeability. So, the chief difference between ground modification and ground improvement is that ground modification constitutes a number of techniques whereas ground improvement constitutes a single technique. Both are for the purpose of improving the properties, engineering properties of the ground or soil such as shear strength, stiffness, permeability etc. Now, what is the need for this engineered ground improvement? Because of the inadequate mechanical properties of the soil, there arises the need of engineering ground improvement. Because of the phenomenon of swelling and shrinkage in soil, because of the collapsible nature of the soil, because of the soft soils, because of the organic soils and peaty soils to improve the engineering properties of sandy soils and gravel deposits to improve the properties of foundations on dumps and sanitary fills and for handling dredged materials and for handling hazardous materials in contact with soils so these are some of the most important need for improving the ground and use of all the mine pits. Next is the factors affecting the choice, choice of ground improvement method. There, may a number, there are a number of factors which depends on the choice of ground improvement method. That is, uh, which method we have to opt for improving the ground. The various factors include, first one, the soil type. The nature of the soil and the type of the soil is a factor that depends on the ground improvement. Second one, the area, depth and location of treatment required. The third factor is the desired or required soil properties to be improved. The fourth one is the availability of materials for improving the ground. Fifth one, the availability of skilled labors, local experience and local preferences for the purpose of ground improvement. And the sixth one is related to the environmental concerns. And seventh one is related to the cost effectiveness or economics. So these are the seven important factors that affects the choice of improvement method for a particular ground or a particular soil. Now, ground improvement techniques for different soil types. The various ground improvement techniques which are used for different types of soils include First one, compaction. Second one, dewatering. Third one, reinforcement. And fourth one, admixtures or grouting. This compaction refers to the mechanical modification 
Dewatering refers to the hydraulic modification, reinforcement refers to the ground inclusions and admixtures or grounding, refer, grounding refers to the ground stabilization or ground treatment by means of granular or chemical admixtures. So these are the common techniques which are used for stabilizing or for improving the different types of soils. Next is the methods for soil improvement. First one ground reinforcement, second one ground improvement and third one ground treatment. Generally, the ground improvement methods can be classified under three heads such as ground reinforcement, ground improvement and ground treatment. The ground reinforcement includes the methods like stone columns, soil nails, micro piles, jet grouting, ground anchors, geosynthetics, fibers, lime columns, Vibro concrete column, mechanically stabilized earth, biotechnical methods, etc. And the ground improvement includes the surface compaction, drainage or surcharge, electro osmosis method, compaction grouting, blasting, dynamic compaction, etc. And the ground treatment methods includes soil cement stabilization, lime admixture stabilization, fly ash stabilization dewatering method, heating or freezing, vitrification, etc. So these are the common methods which are employed under the ground reinforcement, ground improvement and ground treatment methods for the soil improvement or soil stabilization. Next is the objectives of ground improvement techniques. What are the objectives of ground improvement techniques? In order to increase, increase the shear strength of the soil, to reduce the distortion under stress that is to increase the stress strain modulus to reduce the compressibility because of the reduction in volume the soil gets compressed and to prevent the detrimental physical or chemical changes due to environmental conditions to reduce the susceptibility to the liquefaction phenomena to reduce the natural variability of borrow materials and foundation soil, etc. Now, what are the emerging trends in ground improvement techniques? Nowadays, this field is expanding a wide and there are a um, number of emerging trends are in this field of ground improvement techniques which includes the environmental geotechnics and solid waste management using ground improvement techniques. Containment and constructive use of waste materials for the purpose of ground improvement, low cost technologies with soil and additives, geosynthetics are used for the purpose of ground improvement, biotechnical stabilization is also adopted for ground treatment in case of ground improvement techniques. Nowadays, there are some emerging trends which includes the environmental geotechnics and solid waste management using ground improvement techniques, use of containment and constructive use of waste materials for the purpose of improving ground, adopting low cost technology with soils and additives for ground improvement, use of geosynthetics for the purpose of ground improvement and biotechnical stabilization for the purpose of ground treatment. Now the classification of ground modification techniques. Basically the ground modification techniques are classified as mechanical modification, hydraulic modification, physical and chemical modification, modification by inclusion and confinement and the last one is the combination of the above methods. The first one the mechanical modification refers to different types of compaction Usually the compaction is done with the help of rollers or tampers. The mechanical modification includes the shallow compaction as well as deep compaction. Shallow compaction is usually made by use of rollers and the deep compaction methods, uh, the different methods include vibro compaction, vibro replacement, stone columns, etc. The second one hydraulic modification which includes the drainage and dewatering. The hydraulic modification can be done by means of well point systems, deep well drainage system, uh, by means of vacuum dewatering, electro osmosis method 
by means of open sums and ditches, deductibles, etc. And the third one is physical and chemical modification, which refers to the ground treatment or ground stabilization by means of using additives or admixtures. We can use granular admixtures or chemical admixtures for improving the properties of ground and by and for stabilizing the ground. So the third one is the improving the ground properties by means of additives or admixtures. The fourth one is modification by inclusion and confinement. That is by providing insight reinforcement for the soil. Uh, the various methods used for this purpose includes ground anchoring, rock bolting, soil nailing, etc. And above all, we can use the combination of any of these methods also. So, the classification of ground modification techniques includes mechanical modification which is compaction, hydraulic modification which is drainage and dewatering, physical and chemical modification is the soil stabilization by of admixtures, Modification by inclusion and confinement includes the inside reinforcement by the method of ground anchoring, rock bolting or soil nailing and we can use the combination of any of these methods. Okay, hoping that you have understood the portion. Okay, thank you. Stay safe. Revise this portion. Study well.